We're talking, about, we're talking about wearing masks. Oh, I'll tell you what I was wearing this morning. Two jackets. <laughs> it's a lot cooler this morning, Vivian. It really is. We had that strong offshore push start in overnight, which dropped our temperatures down pretty substantially this morning. I know I felt it when I walked out the door. I went right back inside and got an extra layer, and that might be what you need as you head out the door this morning. Right now, we're still focusing on that low pressure system that's sitting just out to our south. It brought some possibilities of some light rain yesterday. Really just a few raindrops here and there, but really nothing substantial from that. But it is starting to kick on that offshore flow that's going to really bring a lot of those clouds out of our region. Like we said, it's a little bit chillier this morning. 43 degrees in Santa Maria, 46 in San Luis Obispo, 40 in California Valley, 38 in Paso Robles, 45 in Santa Barbara this morning. And compared to yesterday, it is quite a bit colder. You're not just thinking that as you head out the door this morning. 8 degrees colder in Santa Maria, 4 degrees colder in San Luis Obispo, continuing to stay quite a bit cooler than we were just yesterday. We're going to stay under what we saw yesterday with those cold air moving in with that offshore push as well. And talking about those forecasted winds, Right now, they're a little bit more intense. We're continuing to see that strong offshore push, especially along the Santa Lucia's in San Luis Obispo County. That's going to continue for today, but thankfully dying down pretty significantly in the afternoon hours. So we're going to be seeing a little bit of relief from that, but more winds are going to be moving in especially for the weekend. We do have a watch for that. We have an advisory for those winds along the Santa Lucia's. That is through 11 a.m. today. We're especially going to be seeing gusts possibly upwards of about 40 miles an hour in those passes, canyons, and peaks. Just something to keep a close eye on and not going to be a really big impact, but something you should think about if you're going to be driving around today. Checking out your microclimate forecast for today. We've got clearing out. Going to continue through most of the day today. Nice clear skies, but then we're going to slowly start to see more clouds moving in in the overnight hours hours tonight into the early morning hours for your Saturday and these clouds are actually going to be the first sign of a system that's going to move through Saturday in the morning hours especially down towards our south coast we're going to see the little bit of rain there first slowly moving up through the central coast unfortunately while we do need as much rain as we can this is going to be very minimal rain at best just a few hundredths of an inch but still rain is great and we're going to continue to see a few spotty showers following that on Saturday afternoon as well with a few more clouds. For today, not too bad. A little bit chillier, especially inland, 64 degrees in Paso Robles, 71 in San Luis Obispo, 70 in Santa Maria, 68 degrees in Lompoc, and 71 degrees in Santa Barbara for today. Significantly windy across especially San Luis Obispo County as well. Checking out that seven-day forecast, we do have that few chances of rain, one on Saturday and then another tiny one on Monday, especially in Santa Barbara. But everywhere is going to be seeing those temperatures dip the most by Saturday, then slowly start warming up for the early portion of next week staying nice and sunny even by Wednesday we'll see perfectly sunny conditions and great really close to normal temperatures so we've got a really fantastic forecast even including some very much needed rain so good news there as well Neil and Janelle back to you